Hello, 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 hello. Welcome to the final round of XCWC. Thank you to everybody who's played so far and welcome to the absolute chaos that is the final, final round of XDWC. We're going to start off just here. If you come over here, yeah, you'll die. If you go up here, you'll find yourself in a, a practice room. Um, and yeah, you can just walk straight through these. If you've got R underscore water zero, you won't be able to see which one's which, but first heart, first third, second third, fourth third. Oh, yeah. Add an extra third because the first third is just straight out of here. I'm going to show off the complete beginner route right away and then we'll jump into some of the other things you can do. This is going to be a bit longer of a video because there's a lot of things here. This is a phenomenal map. So this is going to be the complete beginner route. I'm not even going to mention some of the other things you can do unless they are super, super simple, like use a weapon for more speed, uh, but you don't have to. So we start off and we just jump over here and head our way over down here you want to just hold jump when you fall down here you'll slide off here up there and round the corner you now get the mine layer i'm going to say if you're a complete beginner don't use it you get the rocket launcher when you get to here take this bounce pad if you're not going to make it look behind and shoot a rocket you should make it i mean i just uh, i might have missed that rocket there use a bit of a rocket to get some speed you lose it as you come onto this slick slick you go a and d check out the guide linked in the description to know how to go faster here Bounce up here and over there, or the bounce pad just here will get you up. This shot just here is pushing you down, or you can just fall. Uh, but if you're going fast, you'll need to shoot it. So drop down. Round here, you can get around, but if you fall in here, it's just going to spawn you back where you would have landed anyway. Just here is one of those moments where I might say you might want to use a rocket. You can come around here, but you can also get up by just rocketing up here and then a second one to get you all the way across here. Or alternatively, imagine I'd put a warp zone down, I would have been fine. Um, yeah, alternatively come around here. Next up, we drop down here, hold jump, bounce over here. You're gonna get the electro, so a weird, weird weapon. You can lay mines, which you can then explode for more boost than you would ordinarily get by just normal shooting. Uh, but other than that, there's a slick here. So you're going to have to use that to get up there. So that's going to be really interesting to see how that's used. But otherwise, bounce pad and up and jump across and shoot down a bit. And you're going to land here. Now, I'll show this off later. That's a Hagar. That is cooked. We're going to take the stairs. <laughs> Round here, up the bounce pad, uh, turn back on yourself, and over here, and around, and onto this slick. And we're now back on the regular route. Here's a Hagar again, you can use it to get around this corner, as you can see by this, I didn't. Up here, lost the Hagar on the slick again. Off this ramp, and you want to come if over to this side. This is the safe side, that's the dangerous side. So round the safe side. Up and over, you can land on the floating barrel. Look how beautiful this map is. Can we just appreciate all the artwork and everything? And there's a lot of secrets on this map as well. But I'd like, like appreciation for Ash, because the guy's a legend. So yeah, we come round here, keep going over here, through this portal, and we drop down here. And then there is some rocketry to go on there. But this is your complete basic route. So round to... Okay, I fucked that up. Round here, up here, kaboing, through the hole, and off and over this way. It's going to be a much slower route, and you're going to have to see what can you implement. A rocket to be used there, that's going to be tight. Getting a rocket in, like, off of this wall before you lose it onto the slick. Take the slick, jump over here, and there is the finish. Just a straight line through to the finish. So there is your beginner's route. Let's take a look at some of the more extreme options that you've got. So let's start off with this mine layer thing. So you come down here, you drop out, you take this corner, you drop one there, and then you secondary fire. I'm going to have to drop a waypoint. Where can I drop a waypoint? Hopefully that was the right button. Uh, put that there, and then you can get an extreme... I didn't drop the waypoint, I pressed the wrong button. 
Uh, hopefully this is my waypoint gun. So that there, and then you drop that there, use your secondary fire, and you'll go absolutely flying. So I was using it... Oh, I haven't... Ah! The waypoint doesn't give me my ammo back. Oh well. Come over here and you get a rocket launcher anyway. Uh, you will get that rocket launcher, I believe, if you do the mine layer. We have to start again. Let's drop a waypoint. Okay. Okay. My spacing is bad. Apologies for the absolute noobing of this. Okay, I've now got a waypoint there. So you drop the... I did do this, I swear. I swear I did this. I swear I got this first time. There we kind of go. There you go. I got straight up here first time, honestly. No rockets. But yeah, you'll be able to use the rockets to get some speed. And then you keep the rockets all the way till you hop onto the slick. Coming round and up here. There's your boost up. Here's your shot down. Round this corner. One to get you up. Uh, you should be able to get up in one there. Uh, let's kill that waypoint. So now we're into the point here. So that's where you start coming from here. So I didn't get that. I didn't get that down. Good now. Uh, okay, yeah. Down. Apologies for completely noobing this up. But yeah, you should be able to do that and then that. There we go. Look at that. Over here. That's it. That's what you've got to do. Uh, one of those buttons was it. Right, so that goes there. Then they seem to stop at the end here. And then you can do that and straight over. And then down. Now. Here's where things get tricky. Let's... Oh. My waypoint went. Dang it. Okay, here's where things start to get tricky. So you do that. You come around here. You fling yourself around this corner. You're coming up here. Over here. Down here. You drop them balls. You get your shot over. You're down here. Okay. You've got to jump over this and hit this wall to pick up the Hagar. Then you'll see up there that that's the pad. So you come back. You take the bounce. You shoot. And you hold W. This is going to take a few. You shoot and you hold W. Then you let go. Then you hold it again. And then you go up. And eventually you get to the top. Now when you're using the Hagar. You want to be looking about 70 degrees. Or 69 if you're cool. And that will give you the best boost. And then you're aiming to like get flung out of there. Across here. Potentially you can still use this. But like the wall's sticky. So you're not going to be able to use this wall. So it's going to be absolutely incredible to see people use this. It's about letting go of W. And letting yourself go up. And that cuts out the huge stair section. But that is a teleporter you can get to straight through here. Which you will teleport to get that. So yeah. And you want to be facing the way you came from there. Up there. You might get around. If you can do this that's banging. Uh, if you can get the speed exit that's even better. But yeah. Let's move on around here. Here. Uh, I'm going to have to drop a thing at the top here. Hold on. Let's see if I can do this first try. Yeah, so that sort of thing. That sort of thing. Let's pop the waypoint there. So, fast. Round. No. So you come round here fast and then off the wall. That sort of thing. Let's see if I can get it. 69. Round there. Yeah, then you're onto the slick. And then here's some absolute chaos. Uh, let's hang it back. In fact, let's go back to the waypoint. So, yeah, 69. Round and nice. And now I'm just going to drop a waypoint. There. Ah, piss. I pressed the wrong button. Sorry. Apologies. I'm a noob. This is my first time using the waypoint, so I'm getting very confused by them. Okay, so. I need to press it there, and I have a waypoint. Okay, cool. So you come round here, and then you launch yourself up here. And th there's sort of a dead end here. But I don't think I'm really... I'm not even going to try. But... That's a gap. <laughs> 
This is slick. I mean... Right. So the, the kind of intermediate route I would think is just to launch yourself here and potentially you're aiming for like landing here. That's why there's no barrier here. So you're probably aiming for landing here, facing this way, come around and then yeah, super fast through here. But you landing there, that's insane. Insane. Around here, not a huge amount you can do. Through this teleporter, I believe there is, though, because you can go there and then... Is that a bounce pad? I don't know. What speed are we... What? Hmm. I think this is going to be a rocket stack, but I'm not sure how. I'm not sure how fast I have to come... Because six, we're 600 capped through there. So I'm not sure on that one, to be honest, how exactly that's going to work. That's going to take someone smarter than I. There is technically like, you know, so you probably do want to aim for these walls here. Uh, if you're going to go for that route. So maybe it is, how far back am I? Not far. Okay. Do you keep speed through this? Is this a keep speed teleporter here? No, it's 600. So you are probably landing here. Then you, a double stack is definitely the way, but yeah, you can probably come up here and that'll, that's almost certainly going to save some time compared to, um, let's just pop a marker here. Okay, so it's a max 600, so yeah, that's going to save some time doing this, like that is going to save some time compared to the all the way around option where you don't even get a rocket launcher to get all the way around through here. But yeah, that is going to save you some big time, big, big time uh, to just be landing. Well, I guess I'm going to have to do it just to make sure of the rest of it. So one there, double stack there, but otherwise one, two, and you're up, and you've still got a little bit of time to gain some speed off of it. Come, hey, then you get speed from it. And you come back, but you don't have any rockets. What? So you do... I didn't realise this because I hadn't even done this yet. Uh, so you do this here. All of this chaos, you are going to need to save as many rockets as possible. I can't even do it off of this. Right, so can I make that with no rockets used? Yes, I can. Right. Then I want to get up onto the bar. Then one, two, up. So now I lose my rockets. No, I don't. Because I've got to use them to get back up here. But I'm on. I get speed to go through. And you've, so you've still got to do all of this, apparently. Unless you can. Ah, so the plan... Okay, I see the plan. Apologies for not seeing this plan sooner. So the plan is that you've got to get... up there. So you would come here with hopefully a lot more speed than I've got and then use a rocket to get up there. Okay. okay. That's. I mean, that's just insane. And then you're back and then... Yeah, what are we doing here? <laughs> Anyone tell me? Um, you come round. So this is where you would have come out of the bounce teleporter. This is the relink. Then you only get the rocket launcher like here. So one off of there for the big flick into the finish off of the top. And that would be your finish had I gone through the start. But I, uh, yeah, I did the did the start. So let's let's do a run and see what I can get done. So round here, one on the floor here, try and land directly on top of the mine layer is the um, is the only real way I'm seeing to do it. It's literally like on top of the mine layer and then straight up. Like I got that, so good. But yeah, it's going to be such a tricky map and like implement these things little and often. Ah, so it's going to be, you want to lay them, you can launch the mine. I think you're going to want to lay the mine like there. 
because it's when you go onto that grid there that you get uh, the rocket launcher and that's still mine so you want to lay the mine layer like at the end there and then you can boost up and use the rockets then it's continuing to have rockets it's up and over big speed that's why you need the down coming around here up and over off the side maybe something like that down here up and over rocket down round here off the back down off of here uh, fast oh that's gonna be tight spacing round here try not to eat too much of that ramp if you can get more speed off no ramp there through here which is going to be super technical and tight i'm just going to do this because i think i could do it consistently like this is a possibility but that double stack is going to be insane i'm not even going to try it okay i have a rocket left cool so there is actually more rockets than you need for that particularly but the rocket stack is going to be the way to do it then it's around this corner off of that wall super slick straight into the finish it's going to be a long map. The record is looking to be probably around 50 seconds is what's being reckoned. The, um, where does this teleporter come out? Ah, so there's your practice teleporter for that one. Yeah. So, um, yeah, the record's looking at 50 seconds. You're probably looking at two and a half minutes for most people. And it's going to be a tough week. Practice makes perfect Thank you very much for playing. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you same time next week for a Thank You XWC video, I believe. But yeah, this is the last route guide of the year. This is the last map of the year. Join me, actually join me next week as well for Bring Your Own Round 6, where if you want to, we can make some maps. They don't have to be XWC quality, but we're going to learn to make maps. So yeah. That would be cool. That would be fun. This is an insane map. Thank you, Ash. This is so, so, so good of a map. I think like people are going to love this whether they can play it well or not. It's such a good map. Thank you very, very much for watching. I will see you in the future. GG.